In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this disintegration effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Thrill here and as you can see this is the final output. Now I really like this image because it is perfect to show you guys how to use directions properly in this effect. Now before we get into that, uh, this is the original file that's from pixabay.com and I'm also going to use this brush, a single brush that I found on deviantart.com. Download link to both is in video description so feel free to use it. Now first let's cut out the subject from the background and as always gonna select my quick selection tool and I will start to make a selection. The selection is done and we need to remove it from here so I will go to my minus and remove it. After that let's zoom out and once your selection is done uh, you can go and click on this little mask icon so your character is out and after that create a new blank layer from here and put it under. Now we need to make the canvas a little bit bigger so go and select your crop tool uh, and I'm gonna go and make it bigger uh, I think this big uh, is enough uh, then gonna squeeze it a little go and confirm it and uh, after that let's move the subject a little bit here I'm gonna select my move tool uh, and put it here so that we have enough space for the particle here then select your blank layer that you just created that's for background so select your paint bucket tool and fill in the black color uh, okay click here for the black and now we have the black color after that uh, select your layer mask right click and select refine mask and here shift your age a little bit uh, increase the feather and add the same amount of contrast uh, so I think this looks uh, good enough uh, then go and hit ok so we have better edges. Now what I mean by direction is that where your particles will actually go. So let me make my brush a little bit smaller and create a new layer. So uh, let's say you have two options, he is running in this direction. Uh, so your particles can go from this angle to this angle, something like this. Uh, something like this but the problem is that if you do it this way the hand will go away uh, and it just won't look that good so we are not going to use it instead uh, we are going to divide uh, in head uh, the hand then his palm uh, and then his leg so we have proper direction so this will go this much uh, this will go this much and this will go this much it's really easy not that complicated so we have four parts to cover so that's clear now I can delete this layer so first of all we have to remove a little bit from his body so it looks more natural nothing else so for that I'm gonna select my layer 0 and I'm gonna press ctrl J uh, so we have a copy uh, then I'm gonna go and put this layer 0 under here don't touch it in case you mess up this one you have the backup ready and after that on this layer uh, make sure you have selected your layer mask uh, select the brush that we downloaded from here now the good thing about this brush is that you don't have to change any settings you just have to make it smaller using your bracket keys now make sure you have your original layer the layer mask and the color should be black now it's the standard stuff okay we do it all the time in the dispersion effect uh, so I'm gonna go and start removing it, uh, removing it from here and make sure your opacity that's 100% and now you can go and remove it so on the hand this uh, size should be more than enough uh, but when it comes to face make sure it is really small and you have to make sure that we can identify the person uh, because if you go too overboard uh, it might look cool but if you don't recognize the person there's no point in that so I'm gonna remove it uh, from the appropriate parts and fast forward this thing Thank you. 
so that looks good enough and now we can start creating the particles so i'm gonna start with the leg and we don't have to do anything fancy just go and create a new blank layer uh, and make sure you have selected the custom brush that we downloaded uh, and in the color you go and pick the color that's on his leg as you can see here something grayish uh, that looks decent and, and i'm gonna go and hit ok so this is looking good now these particles are way too big so i'm gonna make it smaller and as you as we know we have to maintain a shape so i'm gonna go from this and this so this is my uh, average area where I will be painting as you can see uh, so now it's looking pretty good and a little bit uh, here and there make sure that it, you, you don't lose the shape uh, so this angle looks pretty good now we have to give it some thickness because it doesn't look very good so for that you just simply make a copy of it press ctrl J so you have a copy right then you press ctrl T uh, and you hold down your ctrl key so you can change it from the uh, corner and then you can stretch it a little bit here on this way uh, yeah that looks good then go and confirm it so you just spreaded it a little bit more uh, then you can select your move tool uh, and then you can move it appropriately and to give a little bit more density in the down part I'm gonna make just copy of it ctrl J uh, and then I will go and put this a little bit here but it looks repetitive here see so I'm gonna select my eraser uh, make it bigger and then I will remove it from the areas where I don't need it because if you make it too heavy uh, it also doesn't look good and also remove it from the outside area from every layer uh, so this looks good uh, and a little bit from here so now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, the particles look really good and it doesn't even take any time. So once you think that this looks good enough, select your first particle layer, hold shift key and select last one. Then go and press ctrl G so you can manage it easily. And then I'm going to rename it. So the leg is sort of done. Uh, then we have to work on the gloves and the t-shirt. So the same style, create a new layer. Uh, select your brush uh, and zoom in so this looks pretty good uh, and this time I'm gonna go you can directly pick up color just hold your alt key and you can pick the color from here uh, and then I'm gonna go and make my shape uh, so this looks good here you don't have to worry too much and if it doesn't look very good once you select the color you go and you select the brighter shade of it a little bit brighter like this select and now when you paint see now you it's visible from the distance so you have to cheat a little bit like this so you can show up the particles properly so that's looking pretty decent and the same way i'm gonna pick up the color from here uh, and it's very dark so let's go and select a brighter tone a little bit hit ok uh, then i'm gonna go and uh, draw it here if the area is way too small don't worry about triangle shape just go with it uh, so this still looks pretty good uh, then I'm gonna rename it so this is looking pretty good and now we have to focus on the t-shirt so for that as always create a new blank layer but for t-shirt let's say the leg is here right uh, this is your leg and this is your t-shirt so if this ends here your t-shirt will probably end here out of the canvas as you can see here so its shape will go something like this and something like this so it won't be a proper triangle but sort of square so I hope we are clear on this one so if this ends here this will go out of the canvas and we will have the particles here like this so I'm gonna go and delete this and create another new blank fresh layer uh, so let's go back to the brush our regular uh, and I'm gonna go and pick up my color from here hold your alt key and you can pick up the color from anywhere so first of all let's create the basic measurements so I'm gonna go and click here uh, and then click here uh, and then I'm gonna go and make another shape here like this so that looks good and then fill up the area like this
now as you can see it's very blocky so to do remove that i'm gonna select my eraser and i will remove a little bit of particles from here uh, a little bit particles uh, from here like this uh, and give it some proper shape so i think this looks good but it now also looks really stiff so for that again go back to your brush and paint on the corner so you have really uh, soft edges uh, like this and I'm gonna go and select my move tool and I'm gonna move a little bit here as you can see uh, so we have more focus uh, yeah so that looks good now I'm gonna remove it from the unnecessary areas uh, like this so this is done now we have to make a copy of it for density so I'm gonna go and press ctrl J uh, just like last time press ctrl T uh, and let me zoom out a little bit then you hold down your control key and stretch it outside the canvas uh, a little bit exact here i think here would be proper ending uh, then go and confirm it so for this one i think uh, this looks enough but we have to rotate it a little bit so control t uh, and then i'm going to rotate it uh, slightly from here uh, and then i'm going to go and put it here and remove the unnecessary parts uh, which i don't need So this is looking pretty okay i mean we can give it a pass <laughs> so this is done and now we can focus on the head so let's go and again create a new blank layer now since the t-shirt uh, that ended here so for by that context the head will end something like here uh, so that that doesn't make sense because that would look really terrible so for the head instead i will go uh, and only use this portion only this not too much okay so I'm gonna go and delete this part uh, and again create a new fresh layer uh, go and select my default uh, sorry the brush that we downloaded and then I will zoom in uh, real nice uh, close up like this and make it really small okay uh, so let's zoom out a little bit uh, so this looks good and for the color I'm gonna pick brighter skin tone uh, so this looks pretty good uh, so then go and paint uh, as you can see and it has to mix in the t-shirt so this face doesn't look very weird uh, so i'm gonna go and paint it here like this uh, and get my eraser and remove it from this certain parts uh, so it doesn't look very bad uh, yeah that looks pretty good and you can always select your move tool uh, and adjust it accordingly and for the face I don't think we need to add in extra density because it doesn't look good let's try ctrl J nope doesn't look good so this is good enough so the final effect is done and it's not the best effect in the world but what I main wanted to show you is how to use directions and shapes uh, to make your output look even better. So I hope that helped and let's add some adjustments so go and create uh, let's say curves it's a little bit dull so I might add slight amount of highlight. The adding in brightness can also increase the density just letting you know. So this looks uh, pretty good. Uh, close it and little bit color so create a new adjustment and let's say vibrance and a little bit of color never hurts yep looks good so that's it and your final effect is ready you can add in a little bit of ground so for that create a new blank layer under your subject like this and make sure you have regular round brush and uh, the any color that you like click press ctrl t and make it smaller and put it under him like this and adjust it uh, close it and decrease the opacity so it's not very distracting and there you have the fake background <laughs> just for the idea so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions uh, feel free to ask me in comment section below till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop